I was freelancing for Keith Goddard, and Keith called me up and said, I gave your name to Ken Carbone, and he's looking for someone to work with him. Have I lost you yet? Shortly afterwards, Ken called me. I think I was 25. I didn't know what I was doing. All that I knew is that it's probably better to do this with somebody else than on my own. Her skills, they're very different from mine. It wasn't so much I was the boss and she was the designer. It was more collaborative from the very beginning. In the fall of 76, I opened the office in New York City. Shortly after that, much to Leslie's credit and her diligence in badgering me for more and more responsibility, I made Leslie a partner. I was intrigued by the opportunity to do work at a global scale. Ken and I were both in our 20s and we were competing against people who had a lot more gray hair. We had to step up and pretend we knew more than we did. We would do projects that always had some kind of high profile, whether it was an art institute or a museum or a large corporation. We deliberately started to look for things that would probably pay the bills. Some of it came from pharmaceuticals, some banking clients. I would say 85% of our clients are in kind of a businesses that are serving other businesses model. They had fantastic budgets. In the 90s, I used to dream about the 80s. We grew very, very gracefully, which I think has contributed to our success and longevity. There are firms that have a meteoric rise, and it's so bright that it just fizzles out. We're a little bit more like a comet. We burn brightly, and then maybe we kind of gradually fade away. But eventually, we'll circle back, and there we are again. We're media agnostic. We're not just print designers. We're not just web designers. We're not just environment graphic designers. We're all of those things. Multidisciplinary is a catch-all for we're curious. We're in New York City. We're in the center of the known universe. If I can't do it myself, I know within a phone call, I can have a team put together to deliver on a certain project. Leslie is very much about information and content, and I'm very much about the momentum of things, the thing that's going to stop you in your tracks. My title is Director of Creative Strategy. One of the things I fell in love with about design is the fact that I could make content more understandable. I love being behind the scenes. I love making it happen. I love going in and having a huge presentation, and I don't say one word. If it's deep and complex, it's probably a Leslie project. If it has to be fast and gripping, it's kind of my project. I don't have a tenth of the patience that Leslie has. However, if she gets stuck and it needs a kind of jolt, I'm good at that. Graphic design is a demanding business, and I don't know if I would actually enjoy doing it on my own. We tend to... Um, uh, disagree more. Disagree more. No, I don't know. Do we? Yeah, we... We, uh, we disagree we a lot. No, 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 no. We violently agree. It took us a while to realize that we were absolutely aligned in our vision. We just had different paths. Ken was born with a crayon in his hand, and I was actually moving more towards creative direction at a very high level. I've been keeping sketchbooks or journals for over 20 years now. The journals are more of a sanctuary for me. It's a respite from the world of commerce. Ultimately, my title will be Artist in Residence. There's an importance to that that I think I can bring to our agency. I think if you're going to have your own company, you have got to have a passion so strong that just accepts that you never turn it off. Mm -hmm. It never turns off.